Hey guys, High Castle here, and today we're doing something pretty interesting. Today we we're shooting at drywall with ballistics gel behind it to simulate a home and see what kind of ballistics you would get if you did shoot through drywall and if it, well, did hit somebody. So we're going to be testing that out today. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so we have our 9mm loads here, Federal, uh, Sig Sauer Elite V-Crown, G2, then we have the Frontier 556 75 grain hollow point. Uh, we got some random brand of double up buckshot that the guy gave us and said he was interested to see so Shout out to the guy at the gun store These are gonna be cool. These are rubber buckshot uh, Remington ultimate defense buckshot uh, Federal force x2 buckshot and then we'll be doing the mini shells uh, 12 gauges with the uh, Slugs in them and we will be shooting the Tavor with the 556 shockwave for the shotgun and we'll do some 308 ones just for the hell of it with the FNFAL and of course the Glock 45 in 9 millimeter so let's see what this can do let me show you what we got going on so, we got our drywall pieces here uh, two on each side right here and then we have our ballistics gelatin right back here all right let's see how this pans out all right, we're gonna be shooting the Gold Dot G2, and we'll be shooting it out of the Glock 45 9 millimeter. Let's do it. Let's see what that did. I think it's this one right here, right? Both of them. Right here. Yeah, it doesn't look like too crazy of a wound channel, not gonna lie. Reason being is it just went through all this drywall right here, so it's not gonna really have a lot of punch at the end. I think that it came down through and into here. Yeah, we may retry that shot real quick. Let's go retry that shot real quick. All right, so take this top one off and you can see the wound channel right here. This guy starts here, kind of see it through the top, maybe, there we go, that's a better angle. See the wound pattern there. It pulled in some drywall with it, it looks like, not surprising, but yeah, it really didn't do shit. All right, let's check, let's check out the next round. All right, now we're shooting the Federal Jacketed Hollow Point punch. Let's do this. I think that worked. All right, so this is the round right here. As you can kind of see right here, it did a little, a little bit funky stuff, but that's because it's hitting all the drywall and moving. But yeah, that would be the ballistics of it. Looks like it would be a deadly shot too with that. I think that one would be pretty much fatal if you got hit with it. But we got a couple more rounds to try. Let's give them a shot. All right, ammo incorporated, nine millimeter hollow points. Let's do it. See what it did. Right. Yeah, that's got to be it. All right, oh, that boy, did. went right through. Yeah, that did some pretty good damage. You can actually see it a little bit better from this side right there. Oh, it sure can. That did some damage. Man, I would not want to have been hit by that through through two drywalls. Right, that's why you got to hit your shots. Uh, you got to train. This is why you train. Now we got the Sig Sauer Personal Defense Elite Defense V Crown, and it's 124 grain jacketed hollow points. All right, let's do it. All right, 
let's see what that did. Remington uh, Ultimate Defense Buckshot, nine pellets out of the beautiful Mossberg Shockwave. All right, let's do it. Let's see what that did. All right, I kind of missed on that one, but we did get one pellet to kind of get an idea. So it looks like, clear this off a little bit, but you can kind of see it's stuck in there. It did stop when it hit a person, but from what I can see, this would be lethal if it was a head shot or a neck shot. But if you got hit in the leg with this, you may hit an artery. But if you tourniquet that, it ain't going to do shit, really. Mm. So, yeah. Let's go try the next rounds. All right. The next one we're trying is the Personal Defense 12 Gauge by Federal. It's the Force X2. Look at these. Looks like a weight, like a fishing weight almost with these little clamps right here. So, let's see what that's going to do. All right. Once again, Federal Force X2 nine pellet buckshot. How are you shocking All right. Here we go. Let's go check that out. Look at now. Go ahead and pull that out. Like there's the wad. <laughs> penetration from the wad even oh that Woo! did some damage looks like it penetrated through too on a couple spots look at that all the way through but oh. look at this breakup in this yeah all That's those interesting. pellets in here oh that didn't really help <laughs> <laughs> yeah it did penetrate right here looks like it penetrated right here a couple pieces got stuck in it but other than that it actually did kind of good, but it will over penetrate somebody and it will be a lethal shot no matter what if you hit that through drywall. Yeah. That, that will kill somebody. Not too bad of entrance wounds, but... Well, exits boy. are always the worst. They sure are. All right. Now we've got the mini shell out of the shockwave. Let's do this. These are lead slugs, by the way. Oh, right. Uh oh. Yeah. Dude, that was a perfect hit. Whoop. All right, let's move this thing and check it out. Oh, that's worse on that side. Uh, you can kind of see it from this angle a little bit, maybe from, yeah, there we go. Now you can see it a little bit better. That went straight through as expected. <laughs> I mean, that's what slugs do. Slugs just go straight through, so what do you expect? But, all right, we have two more rounds to check out, and uh, we'll be right back. See you in a sec. All right, the next one we're going to be trying is apparently the Olin Corporation. This really the only other thing that it tells about this thing is it says it's military grade uh, buck so yeah the guy at the store wanted to see the ballistics of this so we will be doing a uh, test with it as well but first let's see what it does through drywall here we go Great. All right, so the next round is going to be a 5.56 Frontier, and it's going to be a 68 grain uh, hollow point, and it's loaded with Hornady bullets. All right, let's see what this does. All right, firing. All right, firing. So this thing's getting really dirty with the drywall, sorry about that. But you can see right here, that they're in a little bit crooked and 
For what I can tell, it's lodged in there. I think it is lodged in there. Kind of hard to see. Yeah. All right, we have Hornady Match, uh, 168 grain, hollow point, 308. Obviously, this is stupid. Um, never do this in a home defense situation ever, like literally ever. But let's see what happens if you did. And we're going to be shooting out of the FN FAL. Let's do it. <laughs> Expected that. Go check it out. Alright, so I wanted to give you a little bit of an overview to that video, kind of explain why I made the video. The reason I made that video is because people don't know the ballistics of firearms when they go through homes. And that's kind of a scary thing with all these new time gun owners coming out. And the reason for this video is to give you a little bit of a better idea of that. And that was the purpose of this video, so I hope it kind of educated people a little bit better about ballistics through homes. But I would also like to say real quick, thank you to YouTube for uh, community guidelines striking me and demonetizing all my videos. Awesome, guys. Uh, love it. But, yeah, the point of this video was to really give you an idea of ballistics through homes and what happens when you shoot through homes. And I hope it kind of did help some people um, understand a little bit better the capability of their firearms and what will happen if you don't know what's beyond your target. But anyways, guys, uh, that's it for now. If you enjoyed the video, if you'd like, if you'd like to hit that like and sub button, we'd greatly appreciate it. Until next time, peace, y'all.